being here. This is incredible. It's normally just like a handful of us, four or five. And then this, this crazy guy here managed to get everybody together in this room to do something really spectacular. And when people ask me why, I, why I'm interested in this, well, it's our livelihood. And everything we have comes from fish and from marlin. Everything that we've built here in this town, the foundation of this town is built on the marlin and tuna and dorado fishery. So welcome everybody, you've come from very far, many of you. And uh, we're really excited to have you here and to go out there and do something great tomorrow. We're on a marlin tomorrow, hopefully. Nancy, somewhere, I don't see her. <laughs> you might hear her, but you can't see her. Um, somewhere in this room are the guys from AFW. Steve? Where's the backbone? Come on. <laughs> the These guys have a lot of interest in fishing tackle. Wire, mono, crimp, scrimpers, pretty much everything we all use. Um, they've come on as a new sponsor for us this year. You can see their brand on our shirt, and we're super fired up to have Steve and Sean here take part in this fishing. Um, so many great people. Rebecca Ehrenberg, who's Tracy's daughter, she's really led the way here in Cabo this year and busted all the records for tagging fish. Pisces is all about letting these billfish go. But we can't ever forget, everyone in this room combined has great fishing skills, but the guys in the back over there that are being all quiet and shy are yeah. <laughs> come down here with great expectations of amazing fishing and big numbers and great safe boats and fish handling, and it's because of the pros, these guys. We've worked with some of these guys here over 20 years. Some of them were little kids when Tracy started with them. We've gotten to know a lot of them. Some of these guys are new, but they're the guys who are gonna get us on the fish tomorrow. Team of 25 people and four boats, and we're headed to the Finger Bank. World famous place for striped marlin. The bite is hot. We're gonna do our best to put these tags in striped marlin. The other boat has one, the other boat has another one. So today's goal is to get it done. We got a little contest and we are here with Wicked Tuna Dave. Dave came down with his wife Nancy. We promised her a good time and she's ready to fish. I think she's already in the chair. Nancy's in the chair. In the chair right, now, right? right now it's dark, it's 6 a.m. And uh, we've got great sponsors, Justin from Accurate. Accurate supports Dave on the Wicked Tuna boat. Yes, sir. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Wheels good in the house. Yes, sir. We're going to see if we can break that Accurate stuff today, but I don't uh, think it's possible. Uh, we I haven't have been able to yet. It's all about this science. This is year four for Stripe Marlin Studies, and we can't thank you enough, Tracy, from Pisces, for putting it together. Well, great. Thanks, everybody, for coming. This is um, the foundation on which our town was built. It's fishing. We've got to keep that fishery alive and well, and the only way we can do that is to have facts and know what's going on. So appreciate all the help from Great Fish Tank, Bill Doblier, and everybody that came today. So here we go. Let's go get some fish. Sun's coming up. Let's get tight. Let's go. Catch em. Tuesday morning at Cabo. It's a beautiful day. Sun's getting ready to come up. We're going out on the Caliente. We got uh, Dave Boltheis and his son, Ted from uh, Gamagatsu. So we're going to board and uh, be uh, taking some video throughout the day. And hopefully, there goes the tag right there. They're heading out as well. We've got four boats going out for our tagging program. And I'll try and document it all for you. Happy birthday, Dave! Good luck, you might. Hello! Not real. <laughs> Look at that sunrise over there. front of Cabo. We heard about this hot marlin bite and old John is in the chair right up before sunup. We've got our wildlife computer satellite tag program and this striped marlin looks like a contender. We're trying to get him to the boat. John did something to this fish. He's really mad. But we're confident we're going to get it done and put this tag out. Tag number one, Cabo. Ah!
the old lighthouse in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Woo! I see sport fishing. Come on, Dave, show us how it's done. Marciano team, Dave and his wife, tied on a double, and Nancy is in the chair. Biggest one of the day right there. Bye bye. Hey Dave. Dave. Nice job, buddy. Amazing day here aboard the tag team. Thank you to Mr. John Circuit for donating his boat today to this very worthy cause. Incredible crew. I cannot say enough about. Enrique, Hector, and Dan, thank you guys. Welcome you made down, it happen well for us today. Well Incredible day. We released nine striped marlin and managed to get two satellite tags into uh, two of the fish. The rest were regular spaghetti tags. So just thank you for coming. This is where it's at. Come to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. We have everything going on here, but we still need to protect these fish. So, Bill, what did you think of today? Well, as usual, we come down here with big ex high expectations. We had 21 people fishing for striped marlin on four boats, and the early reports are everyone saw nine, caught nine or ten. Uh, today we had a special guest, Dave Marciano, and his lovely wife, and uh, they caught their first striped marlin. We love first striped marlins in our business because it's super special. Um, how do you expect to catch 40-something marlin in one day with a couple boats? We didn't fish more than three miles from here. Our tagging was exceptional. We had everything we needed from the crew. Uh, the fish were all healthy. We released them perfectly. We got to fish some new equipment, accurates, really small reels. I don't know what the model is, but the What's tackle up? was so small and light that we could stand up and we had a triple header on. The video will be coming out soon of this triple that was awesome. Uh, thanks to Justin and all the things accurate does. But as Tracy said, can't do this without professionals. This crew put us on the fish all day, and it was hard. We were running and gunning, chasing fish, chasing birds, and uh, it all worked out. But uh, again, thanks to everyone here who makes this happen. Um, get online and follow us at Great Fish Tag Research, and you'll see all the work we're doing. All our data is open access, and we want you to come here and catch and release these great fish. Thank you so much, Thank you, everybody. And uh, everyone that made this happen. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good Thank job. You. Good job. We're with American Fish and Wire. We absolutely loved it. It's our first year, first time uh, partnering with Gray Research. We think it's incredible work they're doing. We loved every part of it. The professionalism, the, the research they're doing for the world is, is tremendous. First place experience, can't thank great fish tag enough and spicy sport fishing. Just so humbled and, 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 and excited to be a part of it. Thank you for coming. Thank you guys. Uh, 
Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone for being a part of this. We wouldn't be here without Stripe Marlin, without people doing research and helping the fishery. And I want to thank our amazing crew because we couldn't have gotten on the fish without them. And just uh, what an amazing fishery combo is the one mile out of the marina we were on. 20 striped marlin. Um, we got eight striped marlin total. And we also got to jump in the water and take some cool release videos. So awesome. Thank you. Great job, guys. guys. Woo!